Making your project stand out is super easy just by adding some texture. And you'll be surprised how something simple can give you the best effects. I'm going to show you two easy ways to add texture for free using painter's tape. So make sure to stick with me, pun intended. So what do you need? Painters or masking tape and I have Distress Oxide ink in a very happy color scheme. Any ink will work for this. And of course you need some card. Any smooth card will work. Let's start with using the tape for stamping. Just with ink, tear off a piece of tape, ink it up on the sticky side and then add it on your card and gently rub over it. If you like your background a bit softer toned, use lighter colors or take some of the ink off by stamping it on a scrap piece of paper. Or even better, on another card giving you two for one, while you're not wasting any ink. I have two cards, one for a bit more pigmented look and the other one for a lighter effect. I have done this technique before and it's been a while. You can just add some color with the tape, sticky side up, else it will stick to your fingers. And this is pretty st straightforward and a little sideways too. But for today's video I want to kick it up a notch. So here we are with all that used tape, what a waste to put this in the trash, so let's not do that just yet. I just form sort of a ball from the used tape, add a bit more tape if needed and make a little handle on one side so it's easier to hold. This will get your fingers a bit inky but you can clean them and then start using it. I have a piece of printing paper and cut out a circle so any thin paper will work for this and I put it over a part of the card as a mask. And then I ink uh, the ball up, I'm using the same colors and make some gorgeous texture. Just by stamping with the ball tape, with the tape ball over the circle and this will get you some gorgeous textured circles. When you are using different colors, use another piece of tape so your pad doesn't get contaminated. And you can do this any way you want, adding just one color or multiple next to each other or just layer them. I like the layered look and you can stop at any time you like so you don't have to keep on adding and adding. This texture will give you a pretty subtle look. Working in different shades will create some depth and interest too. Not one circle will be the same which is super cool I think. When you change colors like from a blue to a green, you can also clean the tape ball a bit by stamping it a few times on a scrap piece of paper or a cloth or kitchen paper. I'm going to add another layer using the mask with different sizes circles to get some more variety and in another way of course. Now I'm using an ink blending tool. I just add a few circles here and there to get some more color on my card because I love color. And just can't help myself, I just love color. Next to the textured circles I found the blended ones a bit boring. So I decided to put the mask back in place and add another le textured layer on top. And this gives it a really perfect finish to me. It uh, gets them deboard right away. For more techniques like this, check out Stamping Without Stamps and make sure to sign up for the free mini class on how to make your own stamps with a snippet of Stamping Without Stamps in it. You'll find the link in the description box below. I finish up with the green and here's my first background with a mix of techniques. I have one more background coming but first this. Now for this video I have teamed up with some of my crafty friends and we are going to show you back to back background techniques. More on that later. Because I have another card with a mix of the previous techniques and I start with adding a focal point, a bigger circle this time in orange and just simple ink blending. Then I added the circle I cut out of the printing paper on top using the Make Art Station to keep it in place which would have worked great for the blended circle too. And then I'm adding lines with the tape over the circle and around it to create, create a fun layered effect, but with the circle blocked this time. So I'm working the other way around instead of uh, going inside the circle, now I'm going around the circle. So that will give you a really different look. I'm adding the lines in the different colors around the circle in the blues and green, making a fun pattern. And I am just making this up as I go, filling up the background. And then I add some texture again on the blended circle to deboard this one too. And I think the added texture is just a perfect finish. 
I just added the cards on a note card with a mat and they are great to have on hand when I'm in a hurry to finish off with a sentiment. And now it's Tiffany's turn. She's going to create some amazing textured backgrounds using watercolors, stencils and more to create a simple art journal page. Her video is right here as well as in the description box below. So hop on over to her channel, I will join you there. And as always, make sure to keep on crafting!